this is Chef Shay, and today I'm gonna be using my gluten-free pancake mix. But I'm gonna do it with a little bit of a twist. I'm gonna make corn cakes with them. So you know on corn cakes, you usually use flour and cornmeal. So we're gonna use this pancake mix, pancake waffle mix. So we won't need anything else. We won't need any baking powder, any sugar, anything else. Everything will be in here. And we're just gonna add some cornmeal. Of course, I'll have a couple wet ingredients that I'll use as well. But let's get started on making these corn cake, gluten-free, because we're using gluten-free, corn cake um, pancake griddle. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put 3 fourths cup of the um, gluten-free Divine Cuisine pancake mix. I've already measured it out actually, so this is 3 fourths. So 3 fourths cup. Then I have, don't get anything, when you just get straight yellow cornmeal. No, none of that stuff that has flour mixed in or anything like that. You need straight, just yellow cornmeal. I know they have other types that have other stuff in it, but this is a must, the straight yellow cornmeal. And that's gonna be three-fourths as well, and I measured that out, three-fourths cup. And then we're just gonna whisk um, these two dry ingredients together. That's all you're gonna need is this, just well combined it. And then we're gonna set this to side and get ready for our wet ingredients. Okay, so we have three eggs here. I put them at room temperature. I don't know if that's necessarily necessary, but I did. So we're gonna beat all three eggs together. So just whisk these two together real well. My mom makes corn cake all the time. Some people call it Johnny cake. Some people just do it like if you don't have milk and stuff, you can use hot water, it's called hot water cornbread. So there's different ways you can um, use, you know, make them. I thought it would be cool to use my gluten-free mix to make these. Okay, so this is well beaded. So now we're gonna add some stuff to the eggs. So we have sour cream. And this is three fourths cups of sour cream. It's gonna make it a little moist, the sour cream. Want to get all the goodness in there. And we have three fourths cup of, I have almond milk but you can use whole milk or whatever milk of your choice. And I have a stick of butter, which is half a cup of butter. And then I'm gonna whisk all these wet ingredients together.
either eat them with honey or with my jammer of, of choice or jelly of choice. And it doesn't matter if it has any lumps in it, that's fine because you don't want to over mix it. So there you have it. So we're gonna heat up the griddle and go ahead and cook these. Okay, y'all, so I'm getting ready, it's hot. I've tried to cool it down, so hopefully it's at a good temperature. You want it to be about 350, 325. And I just have a one third uh, measuring cup here so I can try to make them, you know, uniform size. You can eyeball it, I mean, you know, I'm just being a little, you know, whatever, extra. Hopefully, let's see the bag is good enough to turn it over. Let it cook. I'll give the other two a minute. already that one was buttered I'm gonna butter this one because I like butter on mine gluten-free corn cake I do raw, unfiltered honey. So we'll do that. This is what I use. I get it from Sam Club. And it's really good. So we're just gonna drizzle. And like I said, you could just eat them like this without, or you could put uh, butter, or you could do syrup, or you could do, um, Jam, and there you go. Gluten-free corn cakes. These are with Divine Cuisine. Um, Gluten-free pancake mix. Finish my corn cakes with my gluten-free fluffy pancake mix. You can get this on divinecuisine.com. If you're in Atlanta at Beefers Farmers Market, we're on Amazon, so I'm gonna go in for the taste. I put some drizzle, some honey. Well, I put honey on, I, I, let me start all over. I put butter on it and then I drizzled it with some honey. So now I wanna taste it. They're nice and fluffy, you can see. I don't know why I took like three of them at a time. But it's good, it tastes like a corn cake. I need a, a little more honey. I like mine too. I'm gonna put a little more honey and I'm gonna tell you about it. But it tastes just like when my mom used to make corn cake, or Johnny cakes, or whatever y'all want to call it. Need some bacon and eggs. Mm. Okay. Okay. It's good. And it don't taste like I'm eating gluten free. Cause I'm not always a gluten-free fan of everything, but my pancake mix is really, really good, gluten-free. So it feel it still tastes like it's fluffy. You know, you got the caramel in there, so it tastes it's got the texture of, like I said, a corn cake. And I put the honey on there, the butter. So it was real easy. 
We didn't have to sweeten, we didn't have to put baking powder, nothing. Everything was in here. This is another way you can use the Divine Cuisine gluten-free pancake mix. You can make corn cakes. You can make you can make up your corn cake and have your beans and rice. You don't have to necessarily make it sweet. You can have a corn cake in the morning with your coffee, like how I could do it with my honey or my jam. So just another way of making, using this product. Um, to get this product, like I said, it's on Amazon. You can look for it on Amazon or um, divinecuisine.com. But yeah, if you haven't tried the gluten-free pancake mix, try it. Your family will love it. I get a lot of good reviews about it. It's always the, almost one of the first things to sell at our Buford's Farmer's Market. It's two pounds. It tastes good. It's sweet, fluffy, and also you can make corn cakes with it. Love y'all.